Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel. And uh, we talk about, you know, some of the features. We had a little video saying that um, there was possibility of some of the features in Windows 11 that would go and be in Windows 11 uh, from 20H2 to 21H2. Some will bleed over. And of course, we always have, and I, I often get the question of, yeah, but, you know, will something, you know, ever come through here in Windows uh, 10? from anything else and you know in general I'll say well don't expect really new features from Windows 11 to bleed into Windows 10 or so on but we have one that apparently is going to be available as soon as 22h2 for Windows 10 is released and it's not a functionality you know it's not a front-facing feature but it is an important feature so Windows 11 22h2 got a security boost by having an option that is a um, change called the Vulnerable Driver Block List. And this comes from the Windows Security app. So basically what that does is to uh, help you make sure that you don't install malicious device drivers in Windows. So before Windows 11 22H2, there was a, there was a block list, but you know it wasn't such as to an extent that 22H2 is actually bringing this. Now in Windows 10, that list doesn't exist much, but it seems that the list that is available in Windows 11 22H2 is coming to the Windows Security app for Windows 10 22H2, which means that the chances of you installing a malicious uh, hardware driver in Windows is going to be lowered. You know, this is part of all the, the different features, the smart guard features and so on. And this is there to keep Windows secure and as safe as possible. So at least we know one thing is that the security in the Windows 10 uh, security app is going to be at least, you know, as good as the one in Windows 11 with some of the features for security that are added in here. So this is one of the things that will be um, available apparently and will be there once 22H2 is rolling out. So this is going to be interesting to see um, what in terms of security it adds, but it, it's going to be interesting to uh, to see that the uh, security features. Of course, we also have the smart app control features, things like that, that apparently are going to also be uh, part of... Uh, of, of security uh, updates maybe that's going to happen. So we'll see as time goes by. We know that Windows 10 22H2 is a very small update. So um, it mostly will trigger um, things that are already maybe just, you know, dormant, just sleeping in Windows 10, and they're just going to switch it on. But at least that one is a feature that will be rolled out to the Windows Security app. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.